guys literally just woke up about 30 seconds ago threw on my clothes I didn't have any of my other clothes because those clothes are in my check baggage which are waiting in Winnipeg for me so we're sporting yesterday's shirt again good thing it's clean and I'm a clean person <laughs> so yeah I gotta quickly get all my stuff together here and my shuttle leaves here in about 15 minutes. It's going to take me to the airport, which is half an hour away. Did you know the Denver airport is, like, way outside the city? Interesting. I think it's a good idea. Keep all that noise over there, right? And you don't have to worry about certain neighborhoods having low-flying aircraft all the time, right? Okay, guys, i got to wake up and head to the airport. This is Denver International Airport. It's just absolutely huge. This is just the terminal. It's almost like a circus tent. We actually have an underground subway which will take us to our gates. There's like three different stops on the subway to three different gates, A, B, and C. And then I'm going to B. And so I gotta get, gotta get on a train which will take me to my gate. Then I gotta get on my plane. It's just a massive airport. Massive. That's probably why they have it so far away from the city. Look at all these Manitoba license plates. Manitoba, nice truck. Manitoba, nice plate. Yeah. You might be wondering why I'm walking back into the terminal. I'm wondering the same thing. Might have to do with the fact that I didn't pay for my parking. <laughs> I gotta pay for the parking in the terminal. Oh, technology, whatever, at least I'm home. I'm gonna go pick up diesel straight from here. And I already got in touch with my lawyers for the real estate, gotta go there sign tomorrow afternoon. And that's all done, the last final signatures. Now all I gotta do is go on a little trip. It looks like they wanna send me to Western Canada with a multi-drop load, which will get me back for next Sunday. I'll move into my place on Tuesday next week. And Wednesday, Internet's getting installed there, and then Thursday, I'll be on a long, long trip. I won't be home for a long time. But I'll be back in the truck, and I won't be doing this crazy aircraft travel. Airplanes are fast, man. I was in Denver like two hours ago. Now I'm in Winnipeg. You know how long I would take to drive in a truck that far? Two and a half days at least, I think. So... It's official, airplanes are fast. All right, we just passed the welcome to Winnipeg sign. I guess we're officially in Winnipeg now, welcome. We are making a beeline straight to Diesel's fancy resort. I've gotten no phone calls from them, so he's obviously not been any trouble. They said they'd call if there was problems or if he was being a brat. So I guess everything's good. Let's go get diesel.
everybody missed you. Diesel. I don't want to go, man. I had so much fun. Did you have so much fun? He didn't even want to go, just like I thought. Yeah, you were having fun, weren't you? Look at he's just staring at his friends. Can you lay down? Do you remember how to do that? Uh, I think so. You remember? Okay, lay down, bud. Or sit. Good boy. Come here now. Come here, man. I missed you. Oh, I missed you. I'm so glad you're okay. They said he wasn't even a brat. Is that true? Or were they lying? You were a brat, weren't you? And they were just covering for you. You're so cute. That's okay. Well, they won my business. I'll be back again. Or Diesel will be back again if I ever need to travel again. Looks like we found you your new babysitters. Dog sitters. Well, he's my baby, so babysitter. Thank you. You wouldn't believe all the people I met. I have so many stories to tell you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you all on the way home, right? Oh, he's such a good boy. Diesel? Diesel? He doesn't even notice. I got you something, man. Hey, look, look here. No, 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 stay back there. Oh, now you see it. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. For being such a good boy. Good boy, I bought him a couple of those things, so. Such a good boy, he deserves a treat. I see you're still shedding. I should have gotten them to groom him, but it was an extra fee. And I didn't want to pay it when I could just groom him myself. But maybe next time I'll get them to groom you because they probably do a way better job than I would ever do. From what I heard, Diesel, you were a ladies' man all weekend. That's what I heard. The girls in there were apparently crazy about you. Ladies' man. You gotta teach me your tricks, man. How do you do it? I don't know. Hey, guess what? I told Zeke's owner, Shay Carl, that you wanted to meet Zeke. Uh-huh. We talked about you for a bit. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a daughter fair next year. Yeah, you can meet Zeke. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that in one of my past videos. I was talking to Shay Carl backstage and I was saying how awesome it would be if Diesel and Zeke would meet. Like, yeah, and we're thinking, yeah, Chris Perillo was like, we could have a dogger fair. <laughs> oh man, second last time we come home here, Diesel. Oh man, you have not been eating very well while I was gone. Did you miss me? You weren't eating very well, man. Uh, we're gonna have to make sure we fatten him up again. I kind of figured that he wouldn't eat very well without me there. Uh, they didn't say he didn't eat, so I guess you were eating, weren't you? You were eating. But, uh, uh. You want to go in your pen right now? Or you want to come inside? You want to go in your pen first? Oh, you're such a good boy. I missed you, man. I told everybody there about you. I'll talk about you the whole weekend, man. Giving you shout outs. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I didn't forget about you. Yep, talked about you to everyone I met. You bet. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just going to leave him out here for a few minutes, then I'll take him inside with me. I think he should be, uh, close to me after being gone for a while. Maybe I'll take him inside with me right away. Oh, oh, did you find your cow, man? You find your cow? Did you miss your cow, man? Where's your cow? Where's your cow? Oh, it's right here, man. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, so I'll take him inside with me right away and we'll spend the evening together like bros. We're gonna have a bro night, right? You watch some action movies? Yeah, we're gonna watch stuff blow up and people firing guns and stuff. You bet, man. Well, man's not, you can tell me about all the ladies you impressed. I heard every girl at the at the resort there was just crazy about him. Good boy, that's my boy. Honey, I'm home. Still never answers me. And we're home watching different YouTubers and all their videos from Vlogger Fair and editing our own. <laughs> wow, it's so awesome to see Vlogger Fair from all the different vloggers' perspectives. It's like, it's a different story every time, but yet it's all the same story. Strange. So, 
Yeah, I got Diesel back today. He's hanging out over there. He's exhausted. I think he had a pretty long weekend. He's not used to being apart from me. And I don't mean that to sound like I'm just the awesomest person in the world, but he grew up pretty much being around me every single day, and it's tough for him when suddenly his master is gone for four days, or four nights anyways, and oh, poor guy, I don't want to do that to him again. I feel bad for him. He probably didn't eat and sleep the entire time, that's what I'm thinking. Poor guy, come on, let's go say hi to him. Let's go cheer him up, guys, cheer him up! Leave some nice comments for him, cheer him up! There I go again, say something nice! Cheer him up, look at him. Hey Diesel, did you have an exhausting weekend? Come here and say hi to everybody. Everybody's missed you, man. Dude, you're gonna knock over your fan. Watch where you're sitting over there. I know. Come here, bud. You are exhausted, aren't you? Oh, you had such a long weekend. Did you eat anything? Did you eat? I know they fed you. They fed you, right? They better have fed you. Did they feed you? Oh yeah, they fed me, man. You didn't eat very much, did you? Poor guy. He's not used to being apart from your master. Yeah, clean out your eyes. So I don't like leaving Diesel. Sometimes it's necessary. You know, I couldn't take him along. and I am glad I went to Seattle. But I spent the whole evening with him here. Being all weird and stuff. Trying to make him feel better. Come on, guys. Make him feel better. Diesel, what can they do to make you feel better? You just need a good night's sleep, don't you? You're a good boy. Maybe I just over-worry about things a little bit. Oh, I baby him, you know? I baby him more than a dog should be babied. He should be... He's good. He's fine. I'm just over-worried. I'm like that. I don't have any kids myself, right? So Diesel is my child. So I think of him that way. He's my boy. Anyways, my house is a mess. I realize that. There is mold growing on some food in that container. I realize that. I'm on it. I'll clean it out. But for now, I'm going to bed and ending this day. Edit it up tomorrow. And tomorrow, I believe we're headed to Western Canada somewhere on a load. I think there's five drops on it, but we'll see. First, got to go sign documents at the lawyers and stuff but thanks for tagging along guys thanks for tagging along every day all you loyal viewers thanks for tagging along for my life and you know what it's fun doing these vlogs so i'm gonna keep doing them okay i'm gonna see you tomorrow at the same time as every day what day is what day is that i'm tired i was gonna ask you what time is that 4 a.m central time every day i'll see you then